Hello and welcome to the Quibber Channel. I'm Jason, your host. Today has been a very productive and exhausting day. Um, I've cleaned out the bathroom cupboards. You see, one of the things with ADHD is something that people do with ADHD. They get together the energy to clean a room. They'll focus on the room. They'll stop sorting everything out. They'll put it all in a pile in the center of the room and then they'll get tired or they run out of energy. And then they grab a black bag, put everything in a black bag and throw it in a cupboard. That happens um, a lot for people like that. And they, they just do that kind of thing. And um, while I've been living alone and have, have, haven't had the thought of the house as a place for someone else to live as well, I could just move from room to room to room to room and just mess, mess things up or clean things up and it didn't matter. But now I've got to sort that. So that I've been doing a bit of sorting for that. Um, I got in touch with the people who did my security system because at the moment, the when someone comes to my front door, my front door is really solid. It's a security door. And if someone knocks on it, there's a chance that I won't notice them. So we have a, a, a call button and a thingy display there that you can click on. Unfortunately, the response system is in my room in here. And that's wonderful when I'm upstairs. But when I'm downstairs and got the door shut, I can miss people. I can miss deliveries. And that stresses me out. So I had to reset and refresh and tweak a few things and talk to him about setting. And I've set it up so I can, all my phones and that will be working with it. So I can have something in each room to know when someone's knocking on the door or anything like that. Um, and also so that the person who's going to stay in here can have access to that same system. Um, I've been tweaking some of my technology and clearing it out. I've been cleaning out some bed sheets, going right of all my bed sheets from the spare duvets and that ready for when a person comes to stay and I've got to set up this room. Still waiting for my bed to arrive. It's being handmade type thing in Yorkshire. <laughs> um, I've this this device here is going to go on my Quingo and tonight I might go out my, with my Quingo and test how bright the light is that I'm going to fit the spotlight I'm going to fit to my Quingo so I can see in front of me in the darkest areas of the thingy. So that's got to be fitted on and sorted. Um, my PCI Express thing came. This only cost £20 for this. It's got one full size and these two on four three on three m2s unfortunately it doesn't have a connector to connect them properly it has a hole there but not the proper connector so i'm actually going to have to figure something out for fitting those to the thingy that is just the way it is um a few other bits and pieces i'm working on at the moment and i oh yeah i've I took my 3060 Ti out of the eGPU and put it into my Unraid server because my Unraid server is a bit sluggish when it comes. I've been testing it out with Blu-ray size files to play. And so I thought having a... Um, a 3060 in there to deal with the hard code, hard transcoding, hardware transcoding would help. Especially soon as it's got an old processor in it. It's an eight it's an eight thread, well four core eight thread processor. Um but it's um four seven ninety or something like that. Old one. So this is just generally tweaking bits and pieces, moving stuff around, seeing what can be done. If it turns out that that is too slow and sluggish for when I I've moved all my bits and pieces of it, then the final, the final. Whew. 
my final option is to no, I'm not looking forward to you can tell my AI computer over there has got a much more powerful bits and pieces in it and I could in theory move all the hard drives from there and turn that AI one into an unraid and LLM server but oh I would have to it's it's not something I it's going to be major, major league movements of stuff. And I'll have to offload all of my files from the main server to a backup drive. And that'll take about three, four days of constant terabyte shifting. And it's not going to be fun. So, um, and, and then when I move the stuff over, I've got to remember to have everything in the right place and so it to reactivate that's why i've got to transfer it off just in case it fails um yep well this is my options of tweaking things and changing things so yes so i'll probably go out later on oh, i've got some food cooking at the moment i am worn out completely worn out i've used up all my energy really so I'm just sitting here going, bleh, bleh. So I hope you're all having a good day. I'll talk to you all later.